water still here. Still some light rain here on the 60 connector to the uh, west and eastbound side of the 60. You can see the big rig right here behind us. There's now the third heavy duty tow truck that arrived on scene. You can only see one of them. The other two on the other side. We were talking about this process of working in tandem uh, to get this rig hooked up. They connect cables on multiple angles of this big rig. They were, looks like they're going to try to lift it up, then pull it back because it is still just teetering here, a portion of it off the edge of this overpass over the 710 freeway. That is the real concern this morning is that in the process of removing the big rig that crashed around four this morning, as they're trying to pull it back, if anything breaks loose, if it gives way, and if that cab possibly falls down the embankment, it would create an issue there on the 710 northbound. So when we arrived earlier this morning, we were told that the 710 northbound would be shut down because of this process and not a long closure, maybe uh, five minutes or so. It hasn't happened yet. That kind of is, you know, indicative of how difficult it is for them to pull this off. So once they get everything hooked up here behind us, we're told that there will be a brief closure here on the northbound side of the 710 freeway. Also right here below us are the metro tracks and this is 3rd Street. We are told that when that happens, 3rd Street will be shut down as well. That of course is more of just a local thoroughfare here in East LA. So here we are watching and waiting. People have been asking from uh, some of our coverage about the driver of this big rig. Uh, again, this was a secret a single vehicle accident. The driver, he was taken to a hospital, suffered some moderate facial injuries from the impact. We don't know what exactly caused him to lose control. Of course, it's been raining all morning. From some of the debris and the evidence here at the scene, it appears that he may have hit the right side of the guardrail first, then bounced off to then teeter off the left side of this overpass. Again, for anyone traveling in this area, if you use the 60, right now it's shut down. If you're on the northbound 710, you cannot access the eastbound or westbound connector until further notice. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.